What's going on guys and gals? In this particular video, we're going to be dealing with the Behringer Wing Rack. We're using firmware version 3.0.4 and our Wing Edit is version 3.0. And we're going to talk about putting an oscillator on channel 1. Now if we come to the home button, we're going to do this here first through the software and then I'm going to do it from the actual mixer itself. We're simply going to click this. This is our destination. What is our source? It's going to be an oscillator. There it is. As you can see right here now, and you can hear it, it's come on. We can mute that out of there. So, how do we get it off? Well, it doesn't matter which layer you go to. You come back up to here, and you click on that channel number one. And when you click on this input, it should be right there. You're going to make sure it's highlighted and simply click none. That's it. You're done. Now, if you leave this oscillator on and you initialize the console, it's going to still be on because that's your input. Now, I can't tell you if these are icons up here or these are actual meters like we see here. Okay? That I do not know. But what I do know is that it's so easy to get it off now by just clicking on it, making sure that your source group is the oscillator, make sure that the one you're using is highlighted, and just click on none. And that's it. Okay? Now, we're going to do this through the touch screen here. And I'm telling you guys, with a little bit of practice here, it's getting just about as fast as what I can do it right up here with the software and you know keep in mind we're trying to learn all of this as we go along I'm going to tap on channel 1 I'm going to simply click on the select main input I'm going to come down to the oscillator group I'm going to assign it and there it is if I want to take it off of there I'm going to make sure it's highlighted and I'm going to select none all right it's just that easy take care God bless and we are out of here